It involves a penny. You flip a penny. You ask the students. You tell them. If it's heads, you say yes. If it's tails, you answer the question. I had planned on giving you each a penny and inquiring as to whether your favorite pie was apple or pumpkin. It's a bit complicated because you can't answer, so I'm going to skip ahead. We could still do it. I could ask you to write on a piece of paper. Pick the top or the bottom. I could ask you to do it now if I can't ask you for your permission. <clears throat> but let's say you were to write on a piece of paper. I'd say, okay, pick one. You pick the top or the bottom. I'd say, okay, call the top heads, bottoms, tails. Have you, now, if it were children, I can phrase this much more carefully. It's three minutes, it's the end of the day. It could be phrased as, you know, and you will spend hours deliberating this. Believe me, the question can be phrased. Has anything happened that you were uncomfortable, that you felt trapped and you couldn't share with an adult? It could be that simple. And you can have an answer that will not uh, upset parents. It won't upset the kids. Uh, if I ask, uh, excuse me for pointing, but one of you, whether your favorite pie is apple or whatever, you won't tell me. But I can ask all of you. You'll. You'll say heads, heads, tails, tails, heads, 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 tails, tails. None of you will know whose favorite pie or whatever. Okay, so we can ask our children these tough questions. That is not an excuse.